Hello there folks and welcome back to SHOT Show 2022. I'm Steven with Bullets for Bucks and I'm at the Altera Arms booth and this is the uh, Altera Arms. This is our Mountain Shadow, which is probably our most uh, common rifle that we uh, commonly build. Um, with the scope, everything on here, it's probably going to finish you out at right around eight pounds, which is really good for the backcountry hunters or the guys who want a, a lighter hunt, hunting rifle. Um, where it's a custom style rifle, we can say ours is more custom than anyone else's, simply because of the patents we actually have built into the actual system Very itself. Nice. We have a the bolt system. When you look at it, it's slightly up long. When you look real close at it, you'll actually see some polished marks on there. The reason what those polish marks are is because when you seed it, it's actually loose. And so it's when it cycles, what it's doing is it's actually clearing all the debris out of the, of the bore. But when I put it in, I start locking those in, that oblong effect forces that bolt to be parallelly aligned within the actual action itself. So and that makes sure it's parallel aligned also in the barrel. And with our patents on our barrel, it also creates another ability to actually lock it in. So basically when you are, our barrels are, are milled out, you'll actually see um, your threads have a high cut and a low cut. Okay. What we've done is we've cut a flat on each end and it gives a, a tenon system. Okay. So what happens when that screws into the action, it actually makes that uh, action in that barrel it seem like it's actually um, machined out of the same piece of steel. Okay. Completely improves the harmonics, makes them extremely consistent. That's why we're able to get the accuracy guarantees okay. with, uh, with our rifles. So we're going to guarantee you a quarter, minute, uh, quarter inch group at 100 yards. If we do the load development for you, half inch if you're using a custom factory match uh, ammo, and it's also a, a, a guarantee not to fail to uh, cycle, and it's a money back guarantee. So if it doesn't perform at our guarantee, the money will be returned to you. Wow, that's pretty fantastic. And from what I understand, if we can grab that rifle again, you guys make um, the you make carbon fiber stocks. You guys do some of your own carbon fiber barrel wrapping. You make the receiver, the bolt, everything like that. And then you put, what, a Trigger Tech diamond trigger, trigger in them? Trigger Tech, we'll put whatever the customer, so some people have their own preferences in the trigger, but the, the, our work horse, as far as our triggers, is a tr Trigger Tech diamond. And they have a Remington 700 footprint uh, as far as you can use bases from for Remington 700, yep. correct? The Remington 700 is like the Legos for the bolt action family, right. and so um, you can take this and drop this in. So if you just want a barrel to action, you can drop it into any Remington 700 chassis or another diff, uh, style stock right and then the uh, I see that most it looks like the ones I've mostly seen have a nice spiral fluted bolt and then they have like a unique raised area in the back that tightens up that tolerance once you go to lock it yep. and then um, a little bit I don't want to say looser tolerance but maybe a little bit more area in the center of the bolt so that because what often happens is people think that tighter tolerance is always better but a lot of times dirt gunk and debris and stuff can actually jam up your bolt in the field because of that so these glide super smooth they're nice easy to work the action uh, 90 degree bolt throw and then when you go to lock it up it has that raised area on the bolt that really helps lock it down tight um, and then they have uh, a unique and uh, tell me about your firing pin well, the firing pin is a double thick firing pin, or a lot thicker shank, and because of that we actually go and we'll flute out the firing pin and then we're using a heavier spring. And then also the, the actual tip of the firing pin never actually leaves the head of the bolt. And what that does is going to increase your lock time. So with the time you track the trigger, and that, pin, that firing pin is going to actually hit the primer a lot faster. And then another thing is, do you guys glass bed all of your rifles, or does it kind of depend, or is it according if, if, to preference? If we uh, use our stock, it'll all, everything will be glass bed. Just uh, everything you can expect out of your most of your custom gun, ma gun manufacturers, we are going to do. Um, it's just what you're really gaining for our custom rifle is our patented technology. And is it, I, you might not know this, but is it glass bedded the whole receiver or just the front of the receiver? Um, uh, from this point, basically where they're commonly, just right to where the, okay. the receiver itself. Okay. And from what I understand, or what I've seen here, is that the recoil lug on the receiver is one part integral with the receiver, is that correct? Correct, uh, the, the recoil lug is milled with the actual action itself, and a lot of people may want the, uh, the pick rail um, or attachment points uh, uh, integral with it. But okay. what we do differently is, we use a 8.4 screw, so it's a little bit thicker okay. than a lot of people do, and then we also uh, put a pin. And so it actually keep, uh, it'll take a lot of the torsional effect of uh, most of your rings, so it's not transferred to the to the actual screws themselves. There's a pin in there that's going to take all that uh, torsional energy that may be applied to the scope. Okay. So like a really solid made receiver. I love to see that integral recoil lug part of the receiver. I I don't prefer you know where they have a separate piece of metal like on a teak or something like that. Um, because basically the m better foundation you have in rifle, the more accuracy you're going to have and also it's going to be more durable and probably better repeatable accuracy as well so I, i'm really happy to see that in these receivers so thank you so much for introducing your uh, receivers and your rifles to me today you bet glad to do it